Welcome back to City Foodie Farm. I wanted to jump on and just say hello. I'm usually the one behind the camera, so I wanted to kind of share what I have for plans for upcoming videos. Um, having a garden, it's not all about just growing stuff. For me, it's also about preserving what you grow. So this year we had a huge surplus of zucchini. And so this year I was able to try making zucchini pickles. So here's a jar of zucchini pickles. I plan to open them. I canned them a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. So I'm so excited to see what they taste like. Um, but that will be something that I will be sharing. Um, and then also I have some bread and butter pickles. Um, these I make every year when you have a surplus of cucumbers. And then some dried little tomatoes. So all of my cherry tomatoes, I had a huge surplus of cherry tomatoes this year. And so what we did is we basically dehydrated them in the oven. And they worked out really good. We did um, can some tomatoes, which we don't have a huge surplus of tomatoes because we tend to eat them with the salsa. If you haven't seen that salsa video or recipe, you should try it. So when we preserved some of our tomatoes, we also um, took the skins off. those as well. So we plan to um, we plan to grind those up and make some tomato powder that we can add to some fun dishes. So um, that's what we got cooking. So comment below if there's any other kind of uh, videos that you would like to see. I just uploaded a chick video in case you were here for the chickens, you can check out the playlist for that. Um, preserving, right now the only thing I have up is the rhubarb jam recipe. Um, but hopefully I will be sharing shortly, I will be sharing the zucchini pickle and the bread and butter pickles hopefully some tomato preserving recipes. If you can't use them now, maybe you can use them next growing season. Um, but our season, our growing season is winding down. We might have one more batch of tomatoes depending on the weather. Um, we have carrots that we'll be harvesting. We just harvested some of our apples. and we'll be harvesting the rest as soon as I have room in my fridge. That's the one thing is, where do you put all this stuff? If you're growing a ton of stuff, where do you put it all? Sometimes you can't eat it all, so you have to either preserve it, give it away, which is a nice thing to do, or eat it. Um, so, um, we have, if you're new to my channel, um, we have a little city lot that we grow as much as we can. And sometimes the stuff doesn't grow right, and sometimes it does, and sometimes you end up with a ton of stuff. This year, like last year, <laughs> I planted a bunch of squash in the front, in my front garden, and nothing really produced. We got one 
one plant that produced these mini butternut squash. Um, they were so cute and so good. Um, I will, I'll try to show you guys a picture of our meal that we made with that. It's been a fun season, but I'm kind of, I feel like I'm kind of done with the season, only after getting stung multiple times and I just have not been out watering. Everything looks pretty dead. Um, so I am looking forward to next growing season and I'm planning to grow a bunch of stuff indoors. A friend had given us some growing lamps, which is really exciting because, oh, one other video I'll try to do is seed saving. I have a bunch of seeds to save for next growing season, but I do plan on just getting different stuff to make it interesting. So, if you're into gardening, cooking, um, kind of, you know, homesteading, I'm not a homesteader, but I would like to learn. That is something I would really like to look into is homesteading. Um, but I do love the convenience of the city and all of that. But um, comment below, let me know if there's a certain recipe that you're looking for. Um, I have a bunch of recipes to share with you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And we have a lot of recipes. I take a lot of footage, but I just need the time to share it with you. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you and thanks for watching. Uh oh, Lucy, Melly girl.